Hello beautiful souls. We're on to lesson 191 today. And I have to say that this lesson is so potent. I don't have I don't have any words really to put on what this lesson is because this lesson is the truth for all of us to share in. I remember when I first met Tom and I asked him, "What is your favorite course lesson?" And he always told me 191 191 191. And every time I've revisited this lesson, it's meant something much deeper to me. It's become more and more real to me, more and more truth to me, where I see it and feel it and experience it in a completely different light than I did before. And so I'm grateful for this lesson to be the demonstration of my own awakening mind and to show me that I truly have accepted what I am in truth as God created us to be. So let's uh, read this lesson together and hold it in our hearts and minds throughout the day. Lesson 191, I am the Holy Son of God Himself. I am the Holy Son of God Himself. Here is your declaration of release from bondage from the world. And here as well is all the world released. You do not see what you have done by giving the world the role of jailer to the Son of God. What could it be but vicious and afraid, fearful of shadows, punitive and wild, lacking all reason, blind, insane, and sad? What have you done that this should be your world? What have you done that this is what you see? Deny your own identity, and this is what remains. You look on chaos and proclaim it as yourself. There is no sight that fails to witness this to you. There is no sound that does not speak of frailty within you and without. No breath you draw that does not seem to bring you nearer death. No hope you hold but will dissolve in tears. So these first few portions here are showing us what the world looks to us when we don't accept what we are as the Holy Son of God himself. And we look upon a world that is chaos and vicious, lacking all reason, blind, insane, and sad. This is the world we look upon when we have yet to accept, I am the Holy Son of God himself. And so Jesus is asking us, what have you done that should, this should be your world? What have you done that this should be your world? God says you're innocent. So why are you holding on to the guilt when it's no longer necessary? Good questions today. Deny your own identity and you will not escape the madness which induced this weird, unnatural, and ghostly thought which mocks creation and laughs at God. Deny your own identity and you assail the universe alone, without a friend, a tiny particle of dust against the legions of your enemies. Deny your own identity and look on evil, sin, and death. And watch despair snatch from your fingers every scrap of hope, leaving you nothing but the wish to die. Yet what is it except a game you play in which identity can be denied? You are as God created you. All else but this one thing is folly to believe. In this one thought is everything set free. In this one truth are all illusions gone. In this one fact is sinlessness proclaimed to be forever part of everything, the central core of his existence and its guarantee of immortality. This is it, right? What is this except a game you play in which identity is denied? This world of hell is what appears to us when we deny our own identity. We immerse ourselves in suffering and evil and sin and death 
when we deny our own identity. So Jesus is reminding us today that you are as God created you, and this never changes. It can't possibly change no matter what takes place in this game of earth. It's still forever and always true, and it guarantees our immortality. But let today's idea find a place among your thoughts, and you have risen far above the world and all the worldly thoughts that hold it prisoner. And from this place of safety and escape, you will return and set it free. For he who can accept his true identity is truly saved. And his salvation is the gift he gives to everyone in gratitude to him who pointed out the way to happiness that changed his whole perception of the world. This is that we're realizing that we, what we want is to know ourselves as God created us to be, to accept our true identity so that we truly can have the experience where we shift our perception that points our way to happiness so we truly embrace and embody happiness and give this happiness to the world. This is what we want for us and for all the world to accept truly what we are. One holy thought like this, and you are free. You are the holy Son of God himself. And with this holy thought, you learn as well that you have freed the world. You have no need to use it cruelly and then perceive this savage need in it. You set it free of your imprisonment. You will not see a devastating image of yourself walking the world in terror, with the world twisting in agony because your fears have laid the mark of death upon its heart. Be glad today. How very easily is hell undone. You need but tell yourself. I am the Holy Son of God himself. I cannot suffer, cannot be in pain, I cannot lose, nor fail to do all that salvation asks of me. Yes. I'm going to read this again because this is our call. This is our call to remembrance. I am the Holy Son of God himself. I cannot suffer, cannot be in pain, I cannot lose, nor can I fail to do all that salvation asks. And in that thought is everything you look upon wholly changed. And it's true, from the acceptance of this thought is everything that we look upon wholly changed. Because we have changed the source of our thinking. No longer are we these bodies who perish and die and get wrapped up in this world of form. But we are eternal, sinless, holy sons of God. It is this change in mind, this change in source, that literally bears witness to the change in our world. A miracle has lightened up all dark and ancient caverns where the rites of death echoed since time began. For time has lost its hold upon the world. The Son of God has come in glory to redeem the lost, to save the helpless, and to give the world the gift of his forgiveness. Who could see the world as dark and sinful when God's Son has come again at last to set it free? How can we see this world as dark and sinful when God has come to set it free? You who perceive yourself as weak and frail, with futile hopes and devastated dreams, born but to die, to weep, and suffer pain. Hear this. All power is given you in earth and heaven. 
There is nothing that you cannot do. You play the game of death, of being helpless, pitifully tied to disillusion in a world which shows no mercy to you. Yet when you accord it mercy, will its mercy shine on you? That's it. When you give the world mercy, will mercy shine on you? When you give the world forgiveness, so does forgiveness shine on you. Then let the Holy Son of God awaken from his sleep, and opening his holy eyes, return again to bless the world he made. In error it began, but it will end in the reflection of his holiness. And he will sleep no more and dream of death. Then join with me today. Then join with me today. Your glory is the light that saves the world. Do not withhold salvation longer. Look about the world and see the suffering there. Is not your heart willing to bring the weary brothers rest? This is it. I was even watching a documentary yesterday of Syria and what is taking place in Syria right now. There's tons of suffering going on in the world. Do we not want to do our part in saving it? And the only way we save the world in all the suffering that is taking place is by accepting that I am the Holy Son of God himself. God will remind us that this is true inside our holy mind. And as our perception shifts from this world to the heaven of God, so do we bring these blessings and these gifts and these miracles and the ways to help the world here into the world through us. This is what we want. This is all I am asking for, and I ask all of you to join me in this. All the brothers who are suffering, they must await your own release. They must await your own release. They stay in chains till you are free. They cannot see the mercy of the world until you find it in yourself. They suffer pain until you have denied its hold on you. They die till you accept your own eternal life. You are the Holy Son of God himself. Remember this and all the world is free. Remember this and earth and heaven are one. So become witness today of all your thoughts in your mind that are contrary to this thought, I am the Holy Son of God himself. For the truth is, I am the Holy Son of God himself. And at first we must become witness to everything that is blocking the truth of this statement. Everything that is obstructing our awareness of this truth. And so be willing today to dive within your mind. And accept freedom and mercy there. So that you may give this freedom and mercy to the world. The freedom of the world depends on each and every single one of us. So thank you for doing your part in freeing your mind today. I will surely do mine. I love you all beautiful souls. See you tomorrow.